Hello and welcome to another Excel at the Office.com video. My name's Adrian and I wanted to share with you a really cool and time saving trick in Excel where you can insert data from a picture like this into uh, Excel data like this. So you can, rather than spend, in this case, say 15, 20 minutes manually entering uh, data from looking at a picture on your phone or an, another tab on the laptop, uh, you can simply get Excel to import uh, the picture as data. Um, I'm going to show you how exactly to do that. Um, I'm going to show you how to edit the picture if you need to kind of refine it, um, make it work properly, what to look out for, and also reviewing your data before you click the import to make sure everything's in order and just checking it over. So on your data tab, you might already be aware, um, if I just select a cell in Excel, you can um, get data from a variety of sources, um, whether that's from text file, as I've shown you before in another video. Uh, you can even get it from PDF or from more technical sources like um, these databases and PowerPoint platforms. But a really cool thing under from other sources, there's a from picture. Excel introduced this in mid-2022 and you can, uh, I mean there's a quicker setting here, so you can insert data from either a file or uh, for copying it to the clipboard. So for example, let's say I've gone on uh, the internet and I've got a picture of an old um, journal extract or I've taken a picture on my phone from a book and I've got this picture I'm going to right click copy it to my clipboard and now I'm going to get a new sheet uh, just insert it here from picture I'm going to, on my data ribbon from picture and now I can paste it from the clipboard but you can go grab a picture if you've saved it somewhere in your files now when you click that something will pop up on the right here it's recognized the picture so it gives you a preview of the picture itself and what, but what you can do is just review whether or not it's um, capturing the data properly so for example it will highlight anything it's unsure about so you click in that box and it zooms in and you will have to give it a bit of eyeballing to make sure uh, things are correct. So that's May. Um, this one um, is July, if I want it exact as per the picture. But of course you can tidy it up afterwards. One thing it hasn't picked up, but I've noticed, is instead of 57 there, that's quite clearly should be 5.7. Um, and if we scroll across and back up, everything else looks uh, pretty in order. So once you've reviewed it, it tells you you can now insert that data. It gives you a warning stating the obvious. You are responsible for validating the accuracy of all data. Yes, because if it wasn't accurate, I was going to contact Microsoft and say, hey, Excel, why is uh, my data rubbish? So anyway, that's an unnecessary step. And I insert data. And that is how you do it quickly. The uh, There's a bit tidying up to do here. So this uh, 8 space 3 should be 8.3. Checking the other stuff looks okay. Increasing the decimal place of this so it's all consistent. And uh, so on and so forth. So there we go. I've, I've made uh, from that table into a data set. Next we'll talk about some things to be aware of. Obviously the ideal in Excel is having a very clear um, picture because it works by AI noticing the difference in shading and being able to recognize the shapes or more specifically the characters um, including numbers and letters from the background then you want as clear as possible a background uh, from uh, your text so something like this it really struggles with so you want clean and pristine pictures ideally because when it starts to get blurry uh, or a bit fuzzy because the picture isn't very big for example that can cause you some problems so um, it really doesn't recognize a lot of that data when I've tested it before. You can do things to help it along by going to the picture format first and increasing the contrast um, help starts to help it um, be able to determine the background from the foreground 
and also be careful where you haven't got um, merged cells in your picture merged areas because it kind of struggles with that although this one's a pristine and clear image so that at least it will get the data in it's to save you typing it and you can just drag and drop it in the right space thereafter also be aware to make sure that you're focusing your image on um, the actual table of data you want so try and not include a bunch of text uh, or things like that so um, if you're taking a picture if you've taken a picture of a journal or some kind of book a table on your phone and it includes a load of paragraphs of text above and below it crop that out first before you get excel to look at it so i hope that's a really helpful time saver for you i wasn't aware of this till um, the other week so you learn something new every day in excel uh, but just a reminder of the uh, steps so you go to your sheet where you want to insert the data data ribbon from picture choose whether you want to get it from your file or folder system or you've got it copied on the clipboard i like the clipboard press that and then just follow the data wizard here, check everything over and then click insert data. Um, until next time, take care.